You have probably heard of the fact that you cannot twist a single corner on a regular Rubik's Cube, right? Well, fear not. In five dimensions, you can do that very thing on the five-dimensional Rubik's Cube, which is right here. So first, before you do anything, go up here, click on faces here, here. Now on this right column, click on V plus, uncheck him, U minus, uncheck him, and U plus, uncheck him, to get rid of all that commotion. Okay, now click on macros. So, what do we do to twist a single corner on the five-dimensional Rubik's Cube? First, you have to perform your standard corner twisting algorithm that you normally do on a Rubik's Cube, a regular one. That's R prime. Just gonna make this faster. B e prime, R, D. So now we have twisted two 3D corners. Now what do we do? All right, remember when I told you to go to macros up here? Now, what you want to do is press Control Z and hold until it has undone all your moves. Why are we doing this? We need to record those moves as a macro so that we can undo them when we create bigger ones. So now that you've undone all your moves here, see this place here, down here? Press Start record. Now, control Y in order to redo all your moves. Then, stop record. You should see new macro. Right click and rename him, let's say, corner uh, one. There you go. Now, what do we do? Now, See this middle orange face here? This orange face in the middle? You click on the right side here and you bring him to the left. Sort of like that. Then you press control, double click on this macro here in order to undo those moves. And then once you un once you move this orange face back, so basically click on this front guy here and click on this right, you should have three twisted sort of little corners here, as you can see. Now what do we do? Well, first of all, delete this macro because you don't need him. Now, control Z and hold to undo all those moves. All right, now, now that you have undone all your moves, Start record again, start record, control Y and hold to redo all those moves. Stop record. I'm just going to rename him, uh, corner 40. There. Now, what do we do then? What we do now is see this bottom right corner here, see this all view rotation. Click on him. Now go to U minus, minus U right down here. Click on him. Next, you see this X dash Y. Click on the Y. And then control double click this macro in order to undo all those moves. And then referring to this X dash Y button again, click on X. Now, what do we do? You know the pattern. Control Z to undo all those moves. And now that you have undone all those moves, oh, let's just delete that macro. Now start record and control Y once again to redo all those moves. Stop record like that. Right click. I'll just rename him. Uh, core 5 D, 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 there. All right, now what do we do? All right, on this yellow cell here, see this rod in the center? Now, 
click on this guy. Right, you see you saw what I did? You click on this left guy in this rod. You click on him. And then you click on this sort of sticker here in, on this rod. Now, what I want you to do is that now he's that he's over here. You, you basically want to bring him over like that. So you do that by clicking on this sticker and bringing him up here. Then click on this front sticker. Bring him over here twice. And now you undo this macro that you just did. Control, double click. Then you click on this two color piece on this rod here. Click on this front one again. Then go on this top rod here. Back down. And now, see this rod in the middle? See the guy on the right? Not left, but right. Click on him and bring him to the front. Ta da! We have twisted a single corner on the five dimensional Rubik's Cube. Oh my gosh! Want me to prove it to you? Charles Duan, you're such a nerd. You fake so many things. Go to progress. As you can see, all the pieces are solved 100%. But, only 31 of 32 five color pieces, the corners, are solved. Meaning this single guy is the only one unsolved and the only one twisted. If you have any questions, ask them all in the comments. Subscribe to my channel for more 40 puzzles. And I'll see you in the next video.